Hey now, here we are looking at the Columbus WFP Skyoto Walking Shoes for Men. Everyday sneakers and extra comfortable shoe. Actually, they're for men and women. They just change the uh, numbers of the sizes. But this is the Skyoto or Scioto X3 model. Comes in this nice hefty box with a picture of the Columbus, Ohio skyline. Open the box and you see all this stuff. You get some extras in there. Extra insoles and extra shoelaces. Inside the box, there's this document here, and uh, once again, it's the Columbus WFP Skyoto X3. I don't know what WFP means, but uh, anyway, they want you to know that the lining is single-layer mesh cloth with high-density foam. That's for comfort. Shoelaces, polyester round shoelace. I think that just means that they're more sturdy than a flat shoelace. Upper layer breathable fly net vamp. No idea what vamp is, but it's made of fly net, and I think it just means that it's breathable. Outsole, high elasticity, slow shock. Just means it's a very bouncy sole there, as far as I can tell. Fluorescent green light at night. It's not really a green light, it just reflects green. So there's no batteries included or uh, solar panels or anything like that. And the insole is a foam insole. It's like um, memory foam, very dense, and it feels great. Now, here's the thing. Uh, on the outside of the box, it says things like uh, designed and engineered in Columbus, Ohio. Then I'll have a picture of an American flag. And here we see that there's an extra American flag. Anyways, just more uh, emphasis on that it is something that's made in America. But the words that we all know and love and understand, made in America, are never used. So that's kind of unusual to me. It just kept saying things like designed and engineered in Columbus, Ohio, or born in Columbus, Ohio. Anyway, so on the inside is another document here. And the Columbus WFP shoes are physiological wonder shoes. Uh, unique sole for shock absorbers and maximum comfort. As you can see from the little icon on the right there, it's from multiple layers. This is supposed to give you a um, feeling of a sense of walking barefoot. Uh, in my opinion, it feels better than walking barefoot, and I do love walking barefoot. Smooth and natural, efficient movement in walking and standing. And it's got these, uh, the icon there on the right is arrows going left and right, I think it just means it's very level. Uh, the inner sole with perfect support and foot fit. Self-explanatory. Uh, there's the Ford uh, models that you can get there. I was really tempted to get those red shoes, but I opted for the blue and white. But of course, the most important things are, other than how they look, is the most important thing is how they feel. Now, my wife said, oh, they're good looking shoes when I first took them out of the box. And they are. I think they are. But they're really comfortable. And, um, again, as they're talking about with this special uh, technology, Zero Drop, I think it's called, Zero Drop Technology, supposedly makes it feel as if you're walking barefoot. Uh, but you get this nice grippy sole on the bottom there. It's very bendy, and, you know, however you're standing or rocking or hopping around, feels really good. But, of course, the big test, because they're walking shoes, is how they feel when you walk in them. Well, they feel great. It's like walking on a marshmallow almost. Really nice. Now, the only concern that I had was that the shoes felt like they were slipping a little bit on the back of my heel. I wear an eight and a half wide, and I was wondering, do these just run a little large? Uh, I went ahead and put the, insole, the extra insoles in, and it did help a little bit, but it still kind of slipped. So I did a little research, and I found this guy on YouTube. His channel is called It's Matt B, and he made this video called... How should running shoes fit? And these aren't running shoes, but they are walking shoes, and walking is slow running in a sense. Uh, I do suggest that you check it out. There's no uh, particular product that he's talking about. It's just talking about how your running and or walking shoes should fit. So check that out. And um, other than that little bit of slippage there, my opinion is that these are good looking and really comfortable shoes. So I'm going to give them five stars, and I won't change my mind unless they just fall apart.